We are here at the Silver Spoon Academy in Windhoek. Today is a very special day because today it's the chef graduation ceremony which promises to uh, show us exactly what's going on in the cuisine, in the food making business at the Silver Spoon Academy. Lots of things that are going to be happening. We're going to have graduation. We're also going to have the student of the year. We'll tell you a little bit again as we go along. Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> um, welcome to Silver Spoon's graduation ceremony. So there are a few things I actually want to talk about today. First of all, I want to introduce myself. My name is Kyle. I have completed a food and beverage course here at Silver Spoon, um, and I graduated earlier this year in March. Um, along the way, I had two inter internships here at Silver Spoon, and it was quite intense. I have planned an event as well. I've had the blood, sweat, and tears go through, so I know exactly what it is to feel like to have one of those going. So um, along the way with the food and beverage course, I actually saw something else, and that's the culinary arts, being a chef. It takes incredible dedication, and I enjoy nothing more than just cooking for someone and actually putting a smile on someone's face by making food. It's as simple as that. It's just the best thing, you prep so long and so hard, but that five minutes of a smile on someone's face is the best thing you can have. Um, so the next thing I wanna talk about is India. Um, five of us were chosen um, during the course of this year to go against each other to see who gets to go to India. It was very hard. We struggled, we were pushed, we had blood, sweat and tears yet again and we almost did not make it, but we survived, barely. <laughs> so um, it was difficult, but out of the five of us, I came out on top um, where we had some curveballs thrown in between, uh, different challenges. Uh, the junior chef was one of them. Um, our exam practicals with another one. And they were really difficult, but just enjoying it is probably what got us to where we are right now. Um, I will be representing Namibia um, in the fifth Young Chefs um, Olympiad in January. Now, I am very nervous to be going, but it is an incredible honor to be representing Namibia um, and Silver Spoon. I have been here now for two years, and what they have done for me and where I have been and where I am now are worlds apart and it just makes me happy. Um, I found, as I would say to people, I found my place in the sun. This is literally what I love doing. Um, Mr. Thomas mentioned that we are having a fundraiser where we need to raise quite a lot of money for, um, to send me and my mentor, Chef, uh, Chef Terry. Um, and Chef Terry has been helping me improve my skills incredibly. Chef Michelle has been there to support me and improve my skills. As well, and it's just sometimes you feel like giving up, but you won't be where you are if you don't feel like giving up. So um, then I would just like to say to the graduates, um, for those that I have met, those that I have said goodbye to already, but for you today, congratulations. You guys have been, I mean, I've been here for two years. You guys are family. Hey, I mean, I can't just say no to you. <laughs> so um, it's an incredible honor to have met you, and I wish you all the best of luck, and I hope all of you enjoy the rest of the evening. For the beer, food and beverage certificates, can I please have Felicity and Agnes and Chef Michelle? Uh, sorry, no. Mrs. Nolan. <laughs> Frederica, these are your girls. Sorry. 
Felicity had the chance to further her studies, but decided working is much nicer than being at this. Uh, uh, You know, playing soccer was much nicer than coming to school. And then we sent her to the industry and she came smiling and said, I love it. <laughs> and how she's changed. <laughs> Next are the food and beverage diploma, Sadia, Christiana, Volmarie, Christine, and Anne Marie. Sadia, no snakes biting you today. <laughs> Sadia was on a lodge and said, Oh, going to the toilet is dangerous, there's snakes in there. But she survived that one as well. Oh, Mr. Bastos, Mr. Bastos, would you please? Oh, thank you so much. Mr. Bastos, put the. Okay. Christiana? Christiana? With a lot of sweat and tears. Oh, and that black file. Mr. Tom, I don't want to see that black file again. Here, yeah, you know, they say the smaller they are, the more they come in dynamite. And Christine. The bush girl. <laughs> she likes going on to those, that water rafting and, uh, yeah, I don't know. But when it came to a thesis, she really surprised me. As we've all said, this is only the beginning. We've taught you the basics, the opportunities are there, go out and grab them. Then I'd like to thank Mrs. Matavchik because, um, you know, I come up with these damn mad ideas and she just says, okay. And then she says, don't you think that was a stupid idea? I said, yeah, but I'm halfway in, so just let's carry on. So thank you for all the support you give us. Mr. Bastos, Mrs. Bastos, thank you for coming up from Walfish Bay. It's a real honor to have you here. And thank you very much for all the support you're giving to Silver Spoon, but especially to my wife and myself. Thank you very much for that. Then to all the guests that have come here today, thank you very much for attending. We really appreciate it. And there are drinks available for you. Wine and beers on the house. Coffee and snacks are in the kitchen. So with that, I wish all the students good luck. And I'm sure the world is your oyster. Enjoy it.
Ons is hier zo bij die Silver Spoon Academy in Windhoek en uh, ons praat met Wilmerie Potgieter. Wilmerie, is lekker om met jou te gezellig. Het is hetzelfde hier zo. <laughs> Wilmerie is die student van die jaar hier zo bij die Silver Spoon Academy voor food and beverage. Eerstens Wilmerie, hartelijk baie geluk. Baie dankie, ik waardeer dit. <laughs> Hoe lang was hier die cursus? Dit was een jaar cursus geweest. Eerst de zes maanden is voor het certificaat en die laatste zes maanden is voor het diploma. En zo so in die algemeen, sê vir ons een bykie en ook vir ons kijkers en luisteraars, hoe was het? Uh, dit was moeilijk, maar ons het deurgedruk. Seker een goed is as makkelijker as ander goed, seker een daal is makkelijker as ander daal. Ek dink die eerste twee weke wat ons borde, verskrikkelijke zwaar borde moes ronddraai, het ons allemaal een beetje onder gekry. Glas is gebreek, borde is gebreek, maar ons het allemaal boe uitgekom en die beste daarvan gemaakt. Vertel vir ons een bykie, een paar, uh, een bykie meer van een paar hoogtepunte. Voor mij een hoogtepunt was definitief mijn um, internship, wat ik bij Heinitsburg gedaan heb, Hotel Heinitsburg, bij een topklas hotel in Windhoek. En ik was bij bevoorrecht om zo so in te gesteerd te worden. Ik heb verschillend bij bij hulle geleer en dis uh, plek en bouwe standaarde en dis waar ek besef het, maar dis precies hoe ek enig wil werk, standaarde, taboe hou, een verskil in Namibiese hospitality industrie maak. En dan het ons ook ons fundraiser het ons gedoen het in die uh, einde laatste jaar, of was het begin hierdie jaar? Begin hierdie jaar. Het ons een fundraiser gedoen wat ons alles van begin tot einde op ons eie moes gereel het. Baie stressvol gewees, maar dit was die moeite waard. Ons het hard gewerk, uitgegaan, sponsorships gesoek en definitief die beste daarvan gemaakt. En ons die, die sponsorship was, of die fundraiser was een groot succes gewees. Nou ja, daar het ons dit Wilmarie Potgieter, ons student van die jaar, hier zo bij Silver Spoon Academy voor die food and beverage cursus wat sy afgaan leid. Wilmarie, eerstens baie dankie dat u met ons gepraat het en weer eens, baie geluk. Baie dankie, ek waardeer dit. Lekker dag. Mixed. Mixed.